start off, I decided to look for some inspiration online, and this is what I decided to go with. I was kind of following this picture. To begin my painting, I first created the floor of my Eiffel Tower, not being a straight line, but slightly curved. Then, with two lines to be my walkway, I made sure the top of my lines are closer together and the two points at the bottom. This is to create the illusion of a walkway next i made a sad face as a tunnel for the bottom piece of this tower as well as the two legs connected i felt the tower shouldn't be that big so i made my sad face just a little smaller don't be scared to fix things and erase what you don't like um after making it a little bit more darker erasing what i didn't need and making my lines a little bit more sharp this is what i was left with Next on the top corner left, I drew a short line pointing left and on the top right, I made a short line pointing right and then a line on top to connect the two and this is a barrier before we add on to the next tower. After that, starting in the center of the first sad face I drew, very lightly, two straight lines going up, a line on top to connect and then two lines on the outside of that rectangle that we just created. And this is to make sure that our next piece is centered. Again, creating the legs to the slightly curved lines and then a slight straight line across to connect them. After erasing what I didn't need again and sharpening up my lines, this is what I was left with. Next, I created the next barrier. This time, I'm going to get a little closer to the center and not be on the edge, but still add my two lines going up. But this time, I'm going to turn it into a triangle and not a rectangle. Here I am with the two lines, turning it into a triangle. You don't want your triangle to be too small or too short, but don't forget you can always keep drawing and erase what you don't like. Making an outline around that triangle, I started at the two corners of the last barrier that our triangle is standing on and made two lines slightly learning. Technically, I'm not sure if this is considered a triangle because we won't have a point at the top but a straight line across. After erasing what I didn't need again, I created another small barrier and another tiny sad face on top. With a line pointing straight up and a line inside going across, finally this is what I was left with and began to paint. This was my favorite part. I absolutely love painting. Again, here I am looking for some inspiration online. I was kind of going for a sunset type of look. Um, I outlined my drawing pretty dark so when I put the paint, this paint isn't very vibrant. It's kind of, kind of watery. But I still enjoyed it, but I used this paint because I wanted the paint to go over and I was kind of going for an ombre effect and I wasn't too worried about trying to blend it. I kind of just wanted the paint on there first and then I'd go into blending. Um, I started off with an orange on the top, went in with a, it was supposed to be red, but it kind of looks like, um, kind of, it kind of gave off like a, a pinkish reddish. And then here I am using this brush. Um, on one half, I'm going to go ahead and put orange and on the other half, I'm going to put red and with that, I'm going to use to blend the two colors together. Here I am blending the two colors together. I think that this brush worked out perfectly. Um, one thing I would say is don't be so rough on the canvas because since you're blending, you kind of want to move the paint around and not really put too much pressure if you get what I'm saying and then here I am going over with some orange because I felt that the red was overpowering um again you can add whatever you want do whatever type of background that you want here I am I see that there's yellow so I'm gonna go ahead and start adding my yellow and again I actually stuck with this brush because like I said I found out that I was actually a good blending brush it got it done quicker so that's what I did your background can consist of anything that you want. You can have rainbows, you can have the beach, the ocean, animals. It doesn't even have to be France in the background. This is your painting. You add whatever, whatever colors that you want and whatever you want.
Next, I began outlining the Eiffel Tower in a black. And there, I created some X's within the Eiffel Tower. And this is to really give it detail. And it's going to take a little bit of time. But it's going to be worth it. If you think that your painting, your drawing isn't the best, it doesn't... It, it doesn't have to be really the best. If you put in detail, detail goes a long way. You'll see that I add in white highlights and it really just brings the picture together. So here I am creating the X's little by little and then we'll begin filling those in, outlining it in black as well. Here I am really taking my time. I have this very detailed brush. It's very thin, very small. So that's what I used. You can find these at the dollar store. You can find them at Michaels, at Target, at Walmart, maybe even the grocery store. Next, I decided to paint my floor of the Eiffel Tower black. And then I decided to add, like I said, detail goes a long way and backgrounds go a long way. It really adds more to your picture. So I went ahead and added these cities, a view of a city. And with that, I was just creating rectangles straight across or going straight down. Actually, not across, going straight down. I created these rectangles. When I paint, sometimes I get carried away. So at this point, I was kind of just adding stuff. I didn't know if this was gonna be a moon or a sun because I had a sunset, but then it was. I made it black. So I just still added it because it's my painting and you can add whatever you want, whatever makes you happy. Here I am adding the windows again with this very tiny detailed brush. I just added little dots of white and like I said, detail goes a long way. This is nothing. I just, they're little dots on rectangles, but it shows a lot. You can, you can see the vision. Here I am adding some white accents. I don't even know where to put these white dots, these little white lines, but here I am kind of just spreading them out. And in the end, you can see it comes together and it just, it makes the, it makes the picture pop out a little bit more. Next, I filled in this with some white, the top of our Eiffel Tower. And then for my actual walkway, I decided to make it gray. I really wish I would have made it pink with some glitter to make it pop out, but I didn't. But it still looks good. But I definitely wish I would have added a little bit of a more colorful color to make it pop out. But I'm still happy with the way it came out. Again, with some white lines, here I am kind of just adding detail. Here I am just pulling some white lines straight down. And I'm not grabbing too much white, I'm just kind of dragging it. And then here I am, this is my final product. Very happy with it. <laughs> 